Universities will be able to charge students up to $250 each year to help improve sporting and campus facilities, childcare, counselling services and student newspapers. Students will be allowed to defer payments of the fee, similar to a HEX loan scheme. This is a contribution which goes to the universities, not to any individual student union, and it is entirely at the discretion of the university concerned. The National Union of Students feels the level and quality of services available to students has decreased in the last three years. They've given the new plans qualified support. Obviously that's one issue that we're really concerned about is whether or not the university will distribute the fee completely to student organisations, which we think is how it should be since um, students know what's best for students. The Howard government's move in 2006 to abolish compulsory student unionism was seen as an attempt to stamp out breeding grounds for young Labor politicians. Some say those days are returning. I think that this whole, you know, returning back to compulsory fees is because a lot of the Labor politicians have come through student unions and these are a perfect recruiting ground for them. The UQ Student Union president feels the government has not lived up to their pre-election promises. Everything they said that they weren't going to do, um, they're going to do it now with the announcement that um, compulsory fees are back. Students are concerned about additional costs but hopeful the government's plan will improve campus facilities. Well, this is my last year at uni for a while, I don't have much feeling about that, but no, I'm not, I'm not in favour of compulsory student fees, I don't think. I don't know, it's hard enough as it is, like with all the other payments that you've got to do on top of it. Yeah, as long as it's being spent on sporting facilities and things that benefit like you know, the mainstream student population, then I'm all for it. The new fees can be charged from July next year. Emma Pickworth, QT News.